Hi, it's Vicky here and today I will be creating a fun summer card using supplies from the latest release by Simon Says Tam. To start I am using this rectangle die, this has a nice uh, stitching all around, which is an exclusive die by Simon Says Tam from a previous release. And I am going to cut out two panels. Both panels are the exact same size, but they are cut out of um, Simon Says Tam cardstock of uh, different colors. I will be using one of those uh, wave dies and I am going to create a wave at uh, the middle of this uh, panel. And now I am using my ruler. This ruler is by Tim Holtz and one of the sides has a metal reinforcement so you can, you can use it against your exacto knife. And I am making sure that I cut out a, a rectangle and um, I leave a quarter of an inch border all around. As you can see, I am not uh, using my muscles to cut out the cardstock and uh, I prefer going again and again like two or three times over the line that I am creating with my craft knife instead of uh, pushing too hard because if you push too hard then uh, you might uh, move your ruler and uh, have an accident. So you can see that I am just sliding my craft knife there two or three times and uh, that let the knife do the job. I am going to create a little shaker out of this for my little scene for today and uh, the idea here is to add uh, some confetti and uh, little fish just uh, behind this uh, little window to make my card uh, more fun. So I will go ahead and add some acetate at the back of this uh, panel and uh, to do so I am using my scissors to cut out about the correct size using my acetate and this acetate is actually from um, packaging and I'm also using my tape adhesive to stick this down at the back of uh, the window. All the supplies that I'm using today are listed and linked just below the video in the details area as well as on my blog. Now out of this uh, panel, when I cut it out, I have uh, saved the upper side and this is what I am going to use at the back to create uh, the window. And um, I am going to be using some uh, foam adhesive and I am going to cut it out in uh, little pieces and stick it at the back. And as you can see, I am going to double up the tape adhesive and this is going to provide a bigger area for the little confetti to move around. I will make sure that I go with a tape adhesive all around the window and this is going to make sure that uh, my little confetti is not going to go anywhere when someone is shaking uh, the card. And now it's time to add confetti on uh, the inside of the window and uh, these are confetti that I have from a card kit that I got from Simon Says Stamp. So this is by Martha Stewart. To make my window even more fun, I am going to create some fish. So I have uh, this uh, stamp set and the matching dies, which is from the latest release, that has a couple of uh, fish stamps and a couple of fish dies, which I am going to use. So first of all, I am picking out the dies and I am going to stamp uh, those uh, fish using uh, some uh, different colors of uh, Simon's stamp uh, ink pads. I am stamping way more fish than uh, the ones that I am actually going to use at the end. But uh, once everything is uh, there, I can uh, go ahead and use my dies through my C6 machine to cut out all those little fish. Now, as you can see, I am uh, using every bit and piece of my cardstock, so I never like to throw out my scraps. I am adding uh, some details on the rise with my gel uh, pen and uh, I will make sure that I add all those fish inside the window, making sure that they face the correct way. I am peeling off the foam adhesive and I am going to stick uh, on top the other part of that panel. And one of the fun parts of creating a window card is always to test out how your little shaker is working out and I'm really happy with the outcome. So I can uh, now use some uh, tape adhesive at the back and stick it on uh, the other panel. So this is going to be the sea and uh, the other lighter blue panel is going to be the sky. To add more interesting on my little scene, I am going to stamp one uh, 
Boat, which uh, comes from a new stamp set from the latest release by Simon Says Stamp, and I am going to stamp it first on white cardstock, and then I'm going to paper piece it. And I'm doing so because uh, I want to have the white border all around, which I am going to have if I stamp this uh, image and cut it out with the matching die. So I will be using the die and uh, run it through my Sizzix machine. And uh, then I can uh, stamp again the same boat on uh, red and yellow uh, cardstock. This is also by Simon Says Stamp. And then I can use my uh, scissors to cut out all the little parts. I am going to be using my glue pen and stick all the little pieces on top of my boat. I am going to stick the boat over the sea by using some foam squares at the back and this is going to add a little bit of dimension on my card. So I'm securing the boat there and uh, now I can go ahead and stamp the sentiment. I'm using the sentiment from the same stamp set as uh, the boat and uh, I will be using my embossing tool to add a little bit of powder there. This is going to make sure that uh, when I stamp with the Versamark and apply the embossing powder, the embossing powder is going to stick only where it's supposed to. So I'm going to white emboss the sentiment. And uh, I advise you to stamp the sentiment before I sticking the boat because I had uh, quite a bit of a uh, difficulty there to make sure that I had a nice impression just because the boat was uh, dimensional and I couldn't press hard with my acrylic block. So I'm heat setting the embossing powder and my main panel is ready. All I have to do now is to stick it at the center of a folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I always kind of eyeball where the center of the card is when I want to stick uh, my panels on top, but uh, the grid at uh, my craft table always uh, is a big uh, help for this. And my card is never finished without adding a touch of uh, Wing of Stella clear glitter pen, so I am going to add a little bit of uh, shine on the boat. And that was the Shaker card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here is the Shaker card in action and a few close-up photos of the card. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already because this is the way to tell me that you love my videos and you want to see more. For more inspiration you can click on any of the videos on the screen and if you are watching from a mobile device you can find links to those videos just below in the details area. Thank you all for watching!